So in today's lesson, we are going to be learning how to cable without a cable needle. So you'll see here, these are very simple um, two over two cables and they have got some that are left leaning and some that are right leaning. So that's what we'll be looking at today. Obviously there are more advanced cables, I recommend you start with these first and then move on to those. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to be doing the right leaning cable. So what I'm going to do is stick my right hand needle into the front of the third and the fourth stitch on my cable needle. Now these are the ones that are going to be crossing over onto the right hand side. So I've got my, my needle through there. What I'm going to do now is slip that off the needle. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a hand and use my um, pointer finger on my right hand side just to keep those live stitches in place. You see, they've got now a couple of stitches that are in front, the first and the second that were on the needle and now off the needle. I'm going to slip those onto my left hand needle, taking care that the needles are actually in the right sort of formation. You want them to be sitting correctly on the needle so they're not twisted or anything and then simply slip those back on and you can see now that they're twisted. So all you need to do now is just to knit them. So I'll show you again once I've finished dropping my stitches. Okay, so that is now secure and cabled just like you would with a cable needle but it's much easier um, more portable and it's faster. So let's try again with another one. So again this is a right leaning cable. I'm sticking my right hand needle into the front of the stitches here. You see the third and the fourth so I've just gone through the front. I'm slipping them off but obviously in turn that's slipping these two off. So they're now free at the back of the works. They could easily ladder because my finger is there and because I'm going quick, I've secured them, they're not twisted or anything on the needle. And I'm slipping these back onto my left hand needle. So you can see they're now crossed over and to just secure the cable in place. Just gonna knit those. There you go. So that is your right leaning cable. So now we're going to move on to the left leaning cable. Very similar, very similar sort of um, technique. So you can see that these cables are crossing over towards the left. So really what we want is these to go across the front and swap places with these two stitches. So this time, rather than going through the front, we're actually going through the back of the stitch. So again, we're going through the third and the fourth. So you can see I'm just through those. You can see they're now on my right hand needle. I'm going to slip them off but obviously then it slips the first two off just by nature of what you're doing. I'm using my thumb to secure them in place and then I'm just using my left hand needle to slot them on there and then slip those other two back on and you'll see that it's crossed over towards the left. So you knit those just to keep those in place and the cable is completed. So I'll do it one more time on this one. So again, it's a left leaning cable, so we're going through the back. So I've got the third and the fourth stitch and you can see they're now on my right needle. I'm going to slip them off but obviously that will then slip off the first and the second stitch as well. So they're just live stitches hanging there. I'm going to quickly catch those with my right hand needle and slip these back on and they've switched places. Oops. There you go. So slip, switch places and now I'll cross it over towards the left so I'm just going to knit those into place. So it's a very simple way of doing a very simple cable, much quicker don't need any additional equipment. I really like it, I find it's been an um, extremely useful technique to learn.
you can see the cables now, just nicely crossed. And that's all done without a cable needle.